Ah. Yo! Alright, what's going on, everyone? It's Big Meg Gaming, aka the Hardcore Master. Yo, I know it's been a while, but I'm back finally with another Fortnite video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button because we're on you're trying to get that thousand subscribers. At thousand subscribers, I will be dying my hair uh blue. And sub to the second channel because I'm gonna try to be more active on there, you know, try to do some reaction videos and more vlogs this summer because you know, right now it's that time of semester where you got exams and shit, and it's like really hard to get out videos. So yeah, make sure y'all do that, like up the video so you know it shows up on the search engine. And yeah, comment. I love reading y'all's comments and uh yeah, let's get this shit popping. So basically these few uh couple of weeks I've been I've been uh looking on YouTube and I've been seeing not a lot of videos on the iconic skin. Now as you guys know, I got the galaxy skin for free, right? I went I went inside the store, I vlogged it, I approved my channel. The video's doing pretty well. Um, basically, yeah, go check that out if you don't believe me. But I got the Galaxy skin on both my accounts for free, basically. And recently, I tried it with the Iconic skin. Now, what a misconception is that you can't really do the Iconic skin in store. That's what, that's what all these YouTubers are telling people that you can't really do it. But that's just not true because basically today, I'm just going to tell a story about my experience. The one time I did it, it was like a, it was like two weeks ago, I went to go do it in a Sprint store. And, you know, it was just some, some bullshit, man. But... Before I tell the story, I'm actually make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can see. Like, since I didn't get it this time, um, I'm going to actually vlog it. I'm gonna try again, like later in the year. I'm gonna try again and vlog it. Hopefully, we can get it. And if not, I'll just you know get it on Twitter or some way other. <laughs> just, you know, I'll pay for it, but I'll get a new phone. But yeah, basically, what happened was I don't know what I was doing. I think I was coming out of class or something, or I was doing my job, and I was like. You know what? I'm in the area, right? Let me just let me. I see a sprint, right? I'm just let me just let me just stop and uh, you know I'm feeling kind of feeling kind of risky today. Let me just go to the sprint and see what happens. So I walk in. There's like the sprint. Oh, so the sprint store was like laid out open, and there was a guy in the in the right hand corner talking to a customer, and this was other dude in the front. He came up to me. He was like, "Yo, what's going on, man? How you doing today? You know, are you interested in buying phones? Are you a sprint customer? All that kind of bullshit." And I was like, "Uh, no, I'm actually with Verizon, but I'm here to just check out the phones, right? That's why I told my heroes to check out the phones and." I was like, I literally asked him, I was like, yo, is it cool if I if I actually like go to the Galaxy uh, S10s and play a game, download a game and see if it, if the specs work, I need to see if it, if it runs properly. He was like, oh yeah, 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 no problem, man. Go, go ahead and do what you need to do. And <laughs> this is where it gets hard, right? You guys know how it is. So you have to download Fortnite, right? And the download takes forever. So I was just sitting there, right? And I was just, I was on my phone, I was kept on turning, I kept on clicking on the phone uh, to see, to make sure it doesn't go back to retail mode. And a uh, quick thing right here, basically, you uh, if you're trying to do this, you do not have to turn off retail mode. You can just, you know, keep retail mode on and try it. What you have to do is you have to check the model number on the uh, S10, basically. So if it ends with X, then it won't work. If it ends with U, it's 50-50. And if it ends with F, it will work. The model number, the serial number. So this particular phone I was using, it was I think it was S10 Plus, maybe S10. It ended with U for the 50-50 chance. So I'm downloading Fortnite, I'm checking my phone, and you know, like, I don't know, I feel like I fucked up. So what, what happened was, I was looking around, right? I was looking around, you know, I feel like it was more weird if I was just standing there, you know, just intensely looking at the phone constantly. I feel like that would have been more weird. So I was looking around, you know, I was asking him questions about stuff. I was, you know, just, just general small talk about, about the phone and stuff. Just looking around, uh, you know, like I said, clicking, just, you know, oh, looking at the other phones too, uh, right next to me. I was all doing all that, right? And then Fortnite, Fortnite was like very close to finishing installing. And the dude walks over. He walks over and starts checking out the cases. And at this point, I'm noticing what he's doing. Like before, he was like way in the back, like by the counters and shit. He was way back there. And then all of a sudden he comes over, starts like checking out cases right where I am. I'm like, well, shit, he's probably catching on to what I'm doing. Or he's getting suspicious. The game's almost done downloading. And then the guy walks over to my left and he starts like talking to me again. I'm like, yo, man, I'm just trying to, I'm just, trying, I hear the Galaxy is good for gaming. I'm just trying to check out, check out how it works like with Fortnite. He was like, oh, I got you, man. You know, just, uh, he was like, just let me know if you, if you need any help with anything. I was like, yeah, I got you. <laughs> so Fortnite downloads, right? And another, like, oh, like, it was very, like I said, very close. So then 30 minutes later, I mean, I mean, like another 15 minutes later, he's like still walking, hovering right next to me. And then I start going to the game. Then I type my email, in, I type my email and password. And then I start to log in. And once I log in, I think this is, this is where I get mad. All right. So the phone's right here. I got my, I got my iPhone right here. And my dumb ass forgot to turn off 2FA on my phone. So I have to pull up the authenticator app. And you know how that shit looks, right? Like I'm not going to show it on screen because, you know, that's my stuff. But you know, how, you know how that shit looks. It looks like very suspicious, right? So I have my phone set down here and I pull up the authenticator app. And the guy was like right next to me. So my phone, so my phone's here and the guy's like right here. So I guess I can see him like kind of looking over what I'm doing. So once I log in, I go, I get my authenticator code and I log in and then I go to scroll over to the store and then I click I click on the iconic I see the iconic skin there it appeared I click on it then it's telling me to put in my credit card information and then right as I'm about to do that the guy was like he's like yo man are you sure you buy <laughs> <laughs> this 
was so bullshit. I just just talking about it just makes me mad. You guys like yo, man, you think about uh, trying to trying to are you trying to get a phone today? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, uh, are you sure? I'm like, yes, I'm sure. I mean, no, I didn't say I didn't say yes, I'm sure. I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm not trying to get a phone. I'm not trying. I'm actually not trying to buy the phone today. I'm just seeing if it. If I can do what I need it to do, you see what I'm saying? So I told him that, and he was like, "Oh no," because I just I, I just saw you uh, on your phone doing some other shit, and he was like, "I I saw you doing some, pulling up some security things." Then then he, then he accused me looking around, looking at cameras. He was like, "Yeah, I saw you." <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yeah, I saw you look at security cameras and I saw you looking at the other guy and the other customer to see like to make sure we're not watching what you're doing. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? He was like, he was like, yeah, uh, yeah. Are you sure I was trying to steal the phone or do something? I'm like, what? Steal the phone? It's fucking hooked up. And I saw I told you I'm trying to download the game. And he was like, he was like, you know what? I'm really comfortable having you in the store anymore. I'm double taking like what the fuck? What do you mean? I'm like, so I literally asked him, I'm like, so are you kicking me out? And he's like, uh yes, I'm about to ask you to leave the store. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And I was like, I told you, I literally told him this. I was like, all I did was 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 tell you that I'm trying to download a game. And he was like, no, I get you, just go to Best Buy and you can you test all this shit there. So basically, I think what turned them, I think what really got suspicious, right? Is when I pulled up the authenticator app and then like I said, looking around the store. But not looking, I didn't know there were fucking security cameras. And I was looking, I was looking, you know, I was looking around, he me looking at the customer, making sure I'm not, I'm like they're not watching what I'm doing, the fucking bullshit, really. Like I can't believe that this guy, it was fucking, <laughs> it was black on black crime. I can't believe this guy, you know, distrusted me that much. So I think I'm going to steal the phone somehow by downloading Fortnite. It makes no sense. But, you know, I, you know, me being 6'2 and big and uh, dark skin, I don't want to cause more problems and then have the cops show up and, you know, just have, you know, just have something a lot worse happen. So I was like, all right, man, you have a good day. I'll, I will, I will buy it. I will leave. So I just walked out. I, I logged out of Fortnite, uh, deleted it, and then uh, went on my phone. And then um, through my Samsung account, I, I removed it, moved it from the device. And basically, I walked out and I was just fucking disappointed. I just went to my car and I was like, wow, can't believe that shit. Take this story, guys, as an example. This doesn't mean that you can't do it. Like, I literally had it done. Basically, with the other people that actually got it in store, what they said was, once you see, like, the message telling you to put in your credit card information, you're pretty much good to go. All I would have to do was put in my credit card information. I would have had it that fucking bitch didn't kick me out but yeah man i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of informative story time video but uh so i will be vlogging like the next time i'm gonna try this i'm not going i'm not going like cheese like i'm gonna get the iconic skin i'm telling y'all that but yeah man hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget like it up subscribe to the second channel discord's always gonna be in the description got a new video coming on tryhard soon so yeah appreciate y'all staying to the end you made it to this point of the video comment uh free iconic skin just do that it's not a giveaway anything just just let me know you made it to the end of the video and that being said i'll see you guys in the next one peace